Hello and welcome to another episode of Corgi Town USA. I am Candy, owner of Corgi Town USA. <laughs> You're laughing at me already. I'm cracking up already. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I promise I haven't been slipping her drink. I'll beat Dis that out. Disappoint me. Yeah, you can say it. <laughs> it's my podcast. I'll it's do what I want. <laughs> well, I am Candy. If you're new here, hi, welcome. We're glad to have you. Absolutely. Every week we have a new episode all about Corgi lifestyle, all things Corgi, and being a paw rent in general. Uh, we talk about health of pets and uh, the breed specific a lot, but also traveling with your pet, how to have the happiest, healthiest pet lifestyle. In my lap is Chuckles. He's our spokes core and is. my little baby boy. But I also have Mortimer Barnabas, his brofer. Hammer, he's our DM Corgi who uses a wheelchair and ambassador for Shade Out DM. That's right. Late. That's right. Oh, and I'm, I'm, I'm wearing my... You are. Hammer. I'm wearing my Hammer t-shirt. Kat is wearing her uh, my, Shade Out DM Team Hammer shirt. Team Hammer. For it's when Hammer we do the time. Race. Hammer time. We also have Booger, the only little girl, and Cats. And my little... He's sleeping again. Good. I have Jigby. Yeah, it's probably best that he's sleeping. <laughs> Let he's, the beast rest. Let the beast rest. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad to have you. Welcome to Corgi Town, where the corgis run the town. Yes. And we're going to talk about health accounts for pets and their people today. That's right. We're going to learn all about that. This is new to me. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to hearing what our guest has to say. Should we bring him on? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Let's Please welcome Lee Draper. Welcome. Hi, Lee. Hi. Nice to be here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you for taking the time to join us. Yes. We so, want to hear about, yeah, yeah we want to so hear about it. We want to hear about it. I mean, just a little bit of a background. Uh, Lee and his lovely wife, Laura. Um, uh, Lori. Oh, my gosh. Because um, I only see them like How New York are? Yes, Lori. Um, <laughs> uh, they, you know, they're all about insurance. Um, and so this, when I heard that they had this, I was like, ah, we need to let our audience know. Yeah. They're awesome. Fun. So here we go. Yeah. Tell us. So please explain to us, give us a kind of a very brief rundown of, of what exactly this is, this program and how it is helpful to parents. Well, this program, uh, is meant to help parents, uh, save half or more on their veterinarian bills. Ooh. So I'm guessing that you ladies have had some fair uh, veterinarian bills. I already know Cat has. Uh, he, he's heard the stories. I spent 700 just this week on routine blood work and shots. Yeah. So we, yeah. Uh, yep. I uh, in the past uh, we had a, um, a chihuahua that uh, uh, we would let out in the front yard to to do its duty and uh, didn't know that some bees had uh, taken up residence in the Eaton Park garage. And our little chihuahua got stung by, I don't know how many, uh, in her ears and all over the place. So that was a great hundred dollar uh, trip mm. to that, that day. A lot of Benadryl. Yes. Uh, but uh, she pulled through okay. And but that, glad she came home with you. Thank yay. goodness. Yes. That, that was not a fun uh, a fun day. No. No. So this program helps to alleviate costs. Um, to, can you explain kind of how it works? Well, uh, basically, uh, it works as you pay, you create your, a program uh, within with you know within the uh, within the plan. So there's different levels that you pay in at. Uh, so it's it's a plan that uh, you pay in over a period of 35 months, anywhere from forty dollars a month to about two hundred and fifty. It's up to you how you want to, how much you want to pay in, and what kind of benefit level you want. But for example, I'll just use the ten thousand dollars benefit as, as an example. Uh, over thirty five months, you're going to pay in approximately five thousand dollars into this into this program. But you're going to get at, at the end of that thirty five months a ten thousand dollars benefit. So instead of it just being five thousand dollars there to use towards a vet, you've got ten thousand. And basically, uh, the, the plan is set up so that uh, the, the dollars are matched as you, the more you pay in. So uh, it, it's set up by the, the parent company is an insurance company. They uh, set this up through actuarial science. Uh, it's actually a patented product. So there's a lot of science and um, brainy 
uh, guys behind it that know way more of that stuff than I ever want to know. Uh, I'm, I'm just glad somebody had the smarts to create it and, and I get the opportunity to share it. That's uh, kind of how I look at it. So if I'm a smart, a smart porrent, which, um, <laughs> Tiffy. I, yeah, no. <laughs> and I actually save up money for the vet bills. Um, because you never know when, oh, I don't know. Your dog decides that eating a rock would be a fun thing to do $3,000 later. So if, if I, if I put a little bit of money aside every month, um, to be there in case of a big emergency um, or one of your pets gets bit by a rattlesnake. Jeez, I have just a lot of stuff. You're catching up to uh, me. I know, right? And so I put this money aside. And when I need to use it, there's more money. Right. Cool. Yep. Okay. Yep. And, and probably over 36 months, 35 months, you know, when you go from puppy to like a three-year-old, a three-year-old dog, four-year-old dog, now you're starting to get things happening. Question. Yeah. How does this compare to a high-yield savings account? Why would I want to do this as opposed to just putting that money into a high-yield savings for this particular hmm. expense? Um, well, uh, after, yeah, that, that is a pretty good question. After, mm -hmm. after you pay them for the, the 35 months, uh you have the ability, you know, again, for example, let's say you have a $3,000 uh, vet bill uh, and you go and you use 3000 out of this. Uh, well, number, number one, you can take it to any vet because this works with a debit card. You're just getting a Visa debit card. You okay. can use any vet because uh, it, it works just like a debit card. So there's no, you don't have to worry about where you're going with it. And so when you spend that 3000 it, you're down to say again on the ten thousand dollar benefit. You're down to a seven. It doesn't take you near as long to build it back up again to the ten thousand dollar limit. If you've got a high yield savings account, you're still only getting high yield these days on a savings account is like five percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's not much. High high yield, as they call them, it's a relative term, but yes, right. Yeah. As opposed to a traditional savings. Yeah, it's traditional, like you know, maybe less than one percent. Yeah. It's just, you know, and, and in our inflationary world, uh, this product is going to give you way more bang for your buck than a high yield savings account. Okay. Yeah. So it, if I'm doing, you know, sloppy math really quick, let's say at the first day I put $5,000 into a high yield account and it's giving me 10% a year, that's going to be $500 a year, $50 a year, $500 a year. 10%. 10, five. I'm a lit major. <laughs> and, and so wait a minute. So, so let's say it just pays for three years on the principal. That's either $150 or $1,500. Still not $5,000. So that's how it's different. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to okay. get, yeah, you're not going to get a $5,000 benefit on a, after three years on a high yield savings account. Yeah. It's not compounded. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately. No. Yeah. Even if it was compounded, it's still, you still wouldn't get yeah. there. Okay. Yeah. Question yeah. answered. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Uh, the, the great thing about this, about this product is, you know, it's kind of the way it got, got started is because we did have the human version, you know, for the mm -hmm. products that was, that was being promoted. And one of our um, promoters, one of the companies that's uh, behind us that I, I get the pleasure of working with the owner of that agency went to the owners of, uh, you know, of the company and they said, Hey, you know, this is great for people, but what about my, my pets? I've got dogs and cats and yeah. how, why can't we do the same thing for them? And they started thinking about it. going, well, wait a minute. Why can't we, why wouldn't we? And so they said, yeah, let's, let's take a look. They, they were able to, you know, they didn't do it to quite the level of what you can fund, uh, you know, a, a human version for, but right. you can fund it up to 20 grand compared to, you know, I think it's 75 grand or something for the, for the, uh, Parents version. Right. Uh, and so it's, um, you know, it's very, uh, again, a very genius, it's a patented program, uh, which is fantastic. So, uh, you know, just the, the fact that, uh, 
they were able to get a patent for what they're doing here. It says, it says a whole lot to the to, to the science behind it. The validity, sure. Yeah, it's yep. it, it, it's really interesting. Um, that it, yeah, that you can save up for the dog, and you talk about not um, you know, not having as much as as, as the humans. They may want to they may want to change that. We've over time spoken to so many parents that have had unfortunate situations with their corgis and yeah even with digby if the vet um up at the scottsdale 24-hour emergency veterinarian place and candy i will put, ha ask you to put that on the show because they as you know they were amazing and i am so sure. in love with them but if she was unable to get the rock which was sitting in his stomach through you know, going through the his scope, mouth, the yeah. scope, the scope. Thank you. Uh, it would have cost us eight thousand dollars. It's much more. more invasive. Yeah, as well. Yeah, and it, it much more invasive. Eight thousand dollars as it was. It was what was it? Three thousand dollars or something? Because I was on the phone with, in tears with you. So yeah, this it, it it's huge. Yeah, vet veterinary bills. I mean, just like everything with inflation. To your point, it's they're getting harder and harder to afford. Um, yeah. and it's, you know, I have yes. four and I have, um, a couple that have some chronic conditions that mm -hmm. are genetic and age related. Um, so does this c cover pre-existing conditions? It, it does. Yeah. There's no, you don't have to worry about conditions of any kind whatsoever. Uh, it, it covers everything again. You're just what, whatever the vet bill is. Now I, I will go this far. It doesn't cover horses or cows. Or sorry, cat, no chickens. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> oh well. You know, uh, and and it, I don't believe it's going to cover small rodents. Uh, although it, uh, there are some other uh, less extravagant pets that uh, would still be covered. But okay. the, the other great thing about it too is. Do it, we have the list? Is it cats, dogs? Uh, most, I, I, cats, dogs. I believe birds. Okay. Are, okay. Are, are in there. Uh, but nothing uh, uh, exotic. Exotic. Thank you. That was exactly the word. I was yes. like, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, sorry, elephants are kind of kind of out. Um, you Got know. it. Yeah. Sorry, Mike Tyson. There's yeah. an exotic exception. And if you want a hippopotamus for Christmas, it will not be covered. So. Oh, okay. Okay. But it does cover all the you know all the dogs and cats. You know anything that is coverable with it in your house it covers them all under one policy you don't need a separate one for each dog or cat, or cat. one policy covers them all okay so, so that you know and, and then if one dies uh it, you know and you replace it the up the new pet is immediately covered as well let's be careful with that verbiage i understand yes. what you mean but uh, replace is, is it's a little bit of a trigger word for me because that's uh that's old school psychology that we try to uh, we're trying to change the the thought process you know pets are not spark plugs uh, we don't just replace them but uh but to get a new member of the family of the to family, help your right. grieving heart yes yeah, those you. can be applied to yeah yeah, yeah. you know for example when i you know when when I was a kid, my my dog uh, was a part German Shepherd, part Australian Shepherd, and oh. he came to stray. Uh, he just wandered into our yard one one morning when I was about five years old. Me and my brother were out there and started playing with him, and he was a friendly dog, great dog. My mom came out about freaked out uh, that we we're playing with this stray dog, and she she's <laughs> like, "I ran him off already once this morning." I said, "Well, obviously he wants to live here because he came back." Aww. And so the, the, the thing with him, though, he'd been a sheepdog, apparently, oh. some, because he liked to go out in the pasture and herd the sheep or the cows or whatever animals we had in the pasture. And I think he'd like to do that for the neighbors, too, because he came back one day with buckshot in his oh. uh, career. And so my mom had to take him to the vet. And before that, before that trip to the vet, he loved getting in a truck or vehicle. He wanted to get in and go with us. After that, you couldn't get him in the vehicle. After yeah. That, there was nothing you could do to get him. Oh, the horror from the last time. That's right. <laughs> and and I'm sure that e even, yeah, I was, I'm going to say way back that way back when, you know, Lee and I are the same age. Um, even then, uh, vets were not inexpensive. Yeah. No. no. 
No. They're not, but there has been incremental. It's incrementally more expensive than it was. I wouldn't say incremental. I'd say exponentially mm -hmm. more expensive than it used to be. But a lot of that is uh, due to some good science that we have behind right. us. Yes. Um, all the research and things and some of these programs and where we're able to improve health and help our pets live longer, happier, healthier lives. There is a cost to that. It takes research. There, there That's part is. of it. That, for there's... sure. For sure. So um, you can, one plan, all the pets, uh, your pet crosses the rainbow bridge. Um, you open your heart and your home to another pet if you're a one pet at a time. People do that? They only do one pet at a time? I don't know. I have obsessive corgi disorder, so I'm not <laughs> one to ask. So, OCD, obsessive corgi it's real. disorder. It's real. It is real. So it, it, it just passes along. It will cover any and all pets in the household. Yeah. whenever i have a question uh i know with with looking for example at insurance uh for digby um and there is the pre-existing condition of eating rocks <laughs> um is there a certain age that they have to be is there a certain age that after this age it is not worth it anymore i know with insurance after a certain age, it's just not worth it anymore. Put that money in the bank. Yeah, and is the incentive program. less appealing yeah. per age? I mean, is there a drop off for that? Um, no, there there isn't. It covers it continually. Um, so you know, from birth to you know the other side of the rainbow again, per se. And uh, the um, yeah, there's there's no limit there on you know older pets or this cover the same as a puppy. Or a kitten, you know, or whatever, you know. I don't know what a baby bird is called, but uh, yeah. baby, baby bird, uh, annoying. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> baby bird. Loud, loud. Yes, very loud. Very Says loud. the lady who's had baby birds, baby chickens. Well, I've had chickens. They're useful. They make they make the <laughs> eggs in the morning. That's yes. Yeah. Anyway, exactly. so um i i'm just i'm fascinated by this yeah it, and i mean i see there are some benefits to this as opposed to a traditional insurance plan yes. most of the insurance plans uh, i cannot effectively cover booger and hammer my two aging rescues not only does hammer have degenerative myelopathy um, which is a degenerating condition yes but it's also pre-existing um booger has some autoimmune which we're not quite sure what is but it's a management plan she's on but both of them need continuous care which is why we do medication and very frequent blood work because we're on medication to monitor that their bodies are managing and uh, yep. taking that medication and booger came out with good blood work she did we had a good week she good blood work for booger yeah very happy about that and so, but because of that, I, they're not coverable under most no, insurance plans not. and some that do cover it. It's so unaffordable exactly. that it's, it doesn't make sense to do it. Well, pet insurance in, in a sense, and, and I've been in the insurance industry for, you know, like four, you know, 14, 15 years, everything from home and auto to life insurance, to health insurance, to Medicare, to, and, and dental insurance. Pet insurance and dental insurance are like two of the most worthless insurances that you can deal with. Yeah. Okay. And the great thing about this program is, yeah, it, it, it's it's worth its weight in gold because uh, for the pets, it's fantastic. It will save you a ton on those vet bills. And, and for the parents, it's amazing because now you've got something you can use for your own dental work or other things that actually... Uh, it is helpful. Uh, you know, it's, it, it works. And as, as well as, you know, so many other things, there's no deductible with this. You don't have to worry about meeting, a, you know, a $1,000 or $2,000 deductible of some sort or whatever before you can use it. It's just a card, your the, the piece of debit card that you use when you go to the, to the vet, pay the vet bill. And if you've got prescriptions for your pets, you need to use to, to get with it, you've got that. Um, it it works. Is it's, there a waiting period for availability of funds? No. Okay. Uh, well, here's the thing: there isn't, but we don't recommend. For example, uh, you have, you do need to pay in for a while before the benefits work their way up. So that say that ten thousand dollar benefit, 
uh, you, you pay in, like I said, for about 35 months to max that level out. After you've paid in for 18 months to 24 months, you can use it. You're just going to, the benefit level is just going to decrease, you know, when you use it, but then it'll increase again. The, the less you use, the faster it, you know, increases back up. And then uh, there is a um, there is a monthly um, service fee basically that you once you've tapped it out at whatever level the ten or twenty thousand dollar level you wanted at there's a there's a monthly service fee you do have to pay to maintain it at that level but it's not like the uh, it's not near as large as the amount you were paying in to get it to that level okay. so and and you know and that that information is available on. On my website or in some of the other information that people are more than welcome to go take a look and and contact me through there cool so we'll have that information in the comments yeah hello yeah we'll have so if you want to get a hold of lee and you have further questions uh, we will drop the contact information in the description box of this video and as well as the audio links for various platforms to listen to us on. Thank you so much. But there are also some instructional videos um, that have been shared and those also, those links will be yes. in the description box. And do you want to go ahead and tell those listening, Lee, how they can get a hold of you just verbally in case they happen to be just listening with a pen and paper? Yep. Uh, you can, uh, my phone number, you can reach me at 602-908-7198. Uh, you can also reach me by email at Lee's life 47 at gmail.com. So those are the two best ways to uh, get a hold of me. Okay. Um, glad to, I'll be glad to hear from anybody, any questions, whatever. So um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to get back to people. So if you leave a message or whatever, I, I keep my voicemail as, as cleared out as possible. So you will never hear, uh, sorry, your, his voicemail is full. You know, you're stuck. <laughs> so. Yeah, Lee's, Lee's probably read my uh, one of my rant posts on more than one occasion on Facebook. I can't believe I just called somebody and their voicemail is full. It's like my dad. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, dad, I called you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there, I there are a lot of questions we could keep Lee all night and day with this. Sure. I, the general information is there's something it's an for, option it's an option for parents to look at yeah so please look at the option um and and see if it helps you yeah it gives you some a dedicated account to uh use for those vet bills yep um we don't like to think about them but they are an, unfortunately a necessity yes because we need it. so this is this is routine care as well correct oh yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's part of it as well i mean yeah. a lot of your insurance plans do not cover normal checkups. And I mean, again, I have four, I'm a masochist. So I'm mm -hmm. at the vet all the time and we get monthly injections for one. And then of course with four, one of them is always coming up for shots and it's time for their yeah. annual checkup. And then sometimes there's something, a blump or a bump or a scratch or something to be looked at. I mean, it's just, it goes on and on and on. So I like yes. that this is another option. Thank you for sharing it with us and welcome. we will let you get back to your evening and I will share the information uh, with our audience again in the description box of this video and on the audio segments as well. Lee, thank you so much. It's been a joy talking to you and we appreciate you thank taking you. your time. Yes. Well, you ladies it has been great. I appreciate the opportunity. Terrific. See you later. Bye. Bye. Well, I definitely learned about a new process today. Yes. I didn't know about this. Yeah. It's it's relatively new. As I said, yeah. I, I network with Lee and Lori and uh So they're real people. They're real people. They're not AI. And, and no, they're not they're <laughs> not a talking head. And uh and and Lee and I are into Star Wars together and then Nerd Alert. Nerd alert and then uh Lori takes a uh lightsaber to networking events with our as a, that's as, a conversational piece as, now. Yeah, well, yeah, that's a, that's a whole other thing. But yes, um, I just take my corgi. I, this is true. This is true. <laughs> so it when we were chatting about it and and when they mentioned it, I said you've got to be on the show. It is it good? Is it not good? Will it work for you? Will it not work for you? I don't know. I don't know. It's worth looking into. It's worth looking into because yeah. But Lee gave us information. You have questions? Yes. Reach out to him. Please do. I'm sure, he would love to help. Cool. So.
But we hope that this helps you uh, help budget for your your babies um, yes. that we're also passionate about. And again, we will include those links. Reach out to Lee if you have further questions. And we hope that this gave you another option to think about to help pay for those vet bills. Yeah. So we'll see you next week, every Thursday, all things Corgi and pet lifestyle, candy, cat, Tuckles, Mortimer, Hammer, Hammer, Digby, Booger, Booger. Yeah. Oh, okay. We got them all. <laughs> we got them all. We'll we see you all. next week. Thanks. Bye.